Hello y'all, Ellery here. I finally gathered enough pennies in my penny bank and found enough coins in my couch to organize my closets. It's been a close to two years um, living a little chaotic. As you will see, I'm not exaggerating. Um, yes, closets have been a hot mess and um, finally organize them as you will see if you continue to watch. Please make sure you guys are subscribed, have those notifications on, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. You know what's up. And drop me some comments because I do have questions at the end of this video. You guys know when it comes to my house and all things house, interior, I've been needing help. And I actually, you guys actually be giving some good advice, you know? And I'm asking for it, so that's even better. It's not like you guys are giving me advice and I'm not asking for it, so. Please watch all the way through so you guys can give me some tips on how to make the closets a little, you know, give them a little more zhuzh. And uh, also, I will be looking a hot mess worse than I am now. Like, at least I have on a hoodie. Um, the entire video. I'm talking about rust, crust, and dust. I had just took off a wig. I have to explain this because I watched it and I was like, I really don't want to post this video. Like, why am I so crusty? Like, how did you not see all that gossipy gel around your head and your dry ass face? So I have to say that because if you come for me in the comments, I'm gonna be upset because I'm telling you now, okay? It was just one of those moments where I was in a rush, didn't notice the crust. It happens, bars. But yeah, continue to watch. Also, one last PSA. We're trying to get to 600,000 subscribers. Remember, 600,000 subscribers means $600 for one to use. Okay, Yoshi's almost there. She's about to do her $300 giveaway for her 300,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys watch out for when I hit 600,000. You know it's been trickling, but she'll get there. And when I do, I'm gonna pick one of you. The bars are just so effortless. It's like, come on now, sis. Get in the studio ASAP. Um, I'm gonna be looking out for you guys for a giveaway, so. Stay tuned for that as well and continue to watch the video. So this is how Yoshi's closet currently looks. It didn't look this hot messy until maybe this year. This was a lot more organized and she had less shoes so they were kind of like stacked differently. This bin was not double binned. Like it got to a point, she's a hoarder, kind of like me. So stuff just started getting thrown in here and uh, yeah. Did you call me a hoarder? Her closet is kind of small. I wanted her to have the other room, but the other room didn't have a private bathroom. So her closet is in as much need of a makeover as mine. I'm about to clear all this out so you can see how much space they have to work with. Oh, your hair is on it? Yes, I, I already told you this, young lady. How are you doing? Girl, what do I look like, Bob the Builder? I'm about to clean all this out and you're gonna help me. Say what? Cause I'm throwing away some of this stuff too. Say so, so, so what? You don't even need half this stuff and you can't even fit half this stuff. Like, come on, sis. Sis, sis, it's cute. sis, it's cute. sis, like, 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 no, gotta go. So this is her closet, completely empty. It only took an hour or two or three. I have to get her another light fixture too. Now I'm about to show y'all my closet at its most ratchet state. And I haven't unpacked Jamaica or the beach <laughs> because they were back to back weekends and I didn't have time in between working, so. Everything is tossed around, but this is like literally, y'all gonna feel my pain because this is what I've been dealing with for the past two years with my closet not being shelved right. And I told y'all on my empty house tour that I cannot stand these rack shelves that they put in closets. They make zero sense. And I also told y'all on my empty house tour that I really did not like this closet. It's not my dream closet. This closet upgrade is really just to give me drawers and more racks. But once I eventually have to share this closet, I'm gonna have to upgrade it again because I just got the basic of the basic. I probably already mentioned that in the beginning of this video. So for the most part, this is really the main portion of the closet that I use. Like realistically, these are the only clothes that I wear because they're just all my t-shirts. I do not like to shop. I do not shop and um, I don't shop. So these are my basic clothes that I wear daily. There's some wigs over there in that corner hanging up here on all these shelves are all my pajamas. Because I stay in the house, like that's really why it's so messy because I cannot keep this stuff up here folded because I just grab pants, grab shirts off the top of these and they end up getting all messed up. And I usually don't refold them until I do laundry. So it's always ratchet up here, always. I don't have any dresser. I haven't had a dresser in two years. So as you can imagine, where do you put your underwear? Where do you put your bras? Where do you put your panties? In bins. I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm still in bins. 
okay so down there is like my sock bin this is like my bra bin I have swimsuits and belts over here. <laughs> yeah, ratchet. Up here is where I've been hanging all my jeans. Over here is like my going out stuff that I haven't had to use because ain't nobody going out. Got some more wigs stashed up there. Robes and jackets and sweaters all over here. All my shoes are on the floor. And I have boxes, they're not empty, they all have something in it, but I got shoe boxes up there and then just random purses hanging there and on the door and inside a purse and a purse. Dirty clothes, hamper, and um, I'm switching out all my hangers, so whenever I go to like TJ Maxx and stuff, I just buy some, but yeah, this has been my chaotic life for the past two years. I'm switching out these lights too. This has been a little hellish for me because I cannot stand clutter. So if you can imagine, I do not like coming in here. It instantly gives me anxiety. And two years is actually a very long time for me to deal with something like this. It's gotta go. So now I am about to, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I didn't realize Yoshi's closet was gonna take me so long and I waited to the last minute to do all this, obviously. But I'm about to get rid of all this shit and show y'all what it looks like empty. Empty closet alert. This should all be shelves for shoes. This should all be long hanging. Another shelf right there. Short hanging all on this wall. And some drawers and cutouts over here, I think. The main goal is just for it to look a lot more organized. Okay, the closets are done. I did, however, run into a little bit of a situation. Um, my mom told me the color of my paint was called agreeable gray. And it's disagreeing with me. I don't know if it's the right aggression or if the problem of it not blending is because I used a makeup brush and not a paintbrush. I'm not sure, but I know it's gonna irritate me to the point where I'm gonna have to fix it. I just can't fix it right now because our clothes and stuff are all over the place. We've been sleeping in the guest room for the past two days because I was trying to wait for the paint to dry and it's dry and it's it's looking real disrespectful so I had to put paint on the parts where he like closed the holes oh you can't see it on camera so I'm not looking that crazy you kind of can on this wall but see all those yeah that's how it looks everywhere that I tried to repaint Anyways, this is what her closet looks like right now empty she now has two rows for her clothes this is for her shoes, which I found out she only has like three pair of shoes. She really didn't need any more drawers for clothes because she has her dresser out here and her bunk bed has drawers. So I've had the drawer problem, not her. However, I feel like in the next two years, she's gonna be done with bunk beds and then she's gonna have less drawers. So I thought it was safer just to put drawers in here and then maybe she could just put some games in here for now. She loves pictures, so she can put pictures right here. This is like a drawer for her accessories. She also has makeup, so she could probably put her makeup in here. I don't really know. I'm about to like organize it after I show you what my closet looks like. But for the most part, I think this is gonna add a lot of organization into our life. I just gotta figure out how to get these splotches. They're gonna drive me absolutely insane. So I'm thinking maybe if I get a roller painter, someone help me if you're in the comments and you've ever like had to repaint over something. How did you get it to blend? I'm usually good at blending, you know? I honestly a little embarrassed that I can't blend it, but um, all right, so here's my closet. Sorry, I just walked right into it. Um, when you first walk in, I have the same problem with the spots, so you're gonna see like those little dark gray spots everywhere, but when you first walk in, here's the drawers over here and shelving, so I guess I can just make it look pretty. I just kept it simple with big, deep drawers, and then at the top, they're um, not as deep, because I'm gonna put uh, something in here. I don't even know yet child, but it's a lovely sight to see. I've never been so excited to see a drawer. So I got two, one, two, three, six, sorry, six places to hang. So I couldn't add a another one of these right here. There just wasn't a, enough space. So instead of just leaving it empty, he told me to put some shelves here because I can put 
some purses or something right there. There's shelving at the top up here and this is all for long hang for like my jackets and robes and stuff. And then over here is gonna be for shoes and purse purses. Obviously I can adjust them for sizing, but um, I just told them to leave it like that for now since I don't really know what I'm gonna do. But there's so much more space. And you know the annoying part about these things is I was gonna get, you know how they have like wall wall and then they have something that you put in the back so you don't see your wall. I told y'all I got like the main basic, basic, basic package because I said, you know, once I eventually have to share this closet, I might want to redo it. So I didn't want to pay thousands of thousands of dollars and then I have to do everything all over. So that was one of the upgrades that I was really like, do I want to drop another to get that? Is it that serious? But I ended up being like, well, the walls are really light. So white and light, they'll blend. And now I got spotty dotty, we like to potty. They're causing trouble and bothering everybody. But you know, once the clothes and the shoes are in here, you probably ain't even gonna be able to see them. That is my hopes. Let me show you one more good panorama. Oh, and I changed the, the lighting too. These are all my hallway lights look like this, like throughout my entire house. I have these, um, these they're called B-A-Z-Z, Baz pendant lights. So I just decided to keep it consistent with my closet because I thought anything bigger than that was there's just not enough space for it. I don't have an, an extravagant closet so it was just unnecessary to get anything bigger. These are also in Yoshi's closet. I probably didn't show you but I'll show you once I show you the final. All right now let's go show Yoshi because she's being really thirsty. She for some reason thought I was just like organizing her closet like moving stuff around. She has no idea that there's actually like cabinetry. Yoshi Kosh Magosh! You ready? To see your closet. Oh, she's it. Mm, told you she's thirsty. Come on, girl. You have pants on? No. Girl. She act like. First of all, you're not a woman. Stop saying that. Okay? And women can be comfortable in pants. All right, you're clothed. All right, close your eyes. <laughs> you're so thirsty. Close your eyes. <laughs> right here. Girl. Are you ready? One. Two, three. Oh my gosh! You see your light is different too? What? Don't pay attention to the splotches. I'm gonna get that fixed. I just gotta figure out what the problem is. Those are not jump drawers. So when I tell you to clean your room, that's not where you put your junk, okay? We're gonna work on organization, but this is for your shoes. I should have labels. Or memory, that works as well. But yeah, this is your new closet, buddy. You like it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. We're both about to be some organized little ladies up in here, bro. We about to be organized, bro. I mean, we're missing, wait. There we go. Before you see your closet, I had nothing to put on the shelves, okay? So you can put whatever, you can change whatever's on the shelves right now. I just threw something on there. And some of your shoes are at your dad's house. Even though you still don't have no shoes and you need some new shoes, it's looking a little empty. M tree over here, okay? Just keep that in mind, okay? Whoa! Your step ladder is down there. You can leave it out. I just put it down there so you can walk in without bumping into it. But when you gotta get stuff up here, use your ladder. Do not break the hangers like you normally do. Well, I really do not have any shoes. Well, I mean. Basically, the only shoes I have are this, this, and this. Well, you have shoes downstairs that and you've been the, wearing. Um, one pair. And you have shoes at your dad's house. And you have your tennis shoes. You have your pink sandals at your... Don't worry about all that. That's not the point. The point is, your closet is organized now. And I need you to keep it that way. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay y'all, so let me just tell you. There were a few discoveries I made when cleaning my closet. Um, one thing is, if I did have the dream closet that I really wanted, it would be empty. Like, I would have nothing to put in it. I discovered that I have more shoe boxes than shoes. I discovered that I have more sweats and t-shirts to wear around the house than I can wear in public. Um, I ran out of hangers. I literally have not one extra hanger in the house. So 
um, I ordered a hundred off of Amazon like this morning and uh, that's probably too much because I have nothing to hang. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't mind this gossipy crust. I know y'all been seeing and judging me, but that's just a little gossipy crust. I'm washing my hair today. So just know I had to fill in a lot of empty space with extras. They're, they're um, interning to fill in space in my closet because uh, anyways, Let's, let's take a look around, let's take a gander. So this is the entrance. I wear black and white a lot. I've actually color coordinated my t-shirts since like high school. This isn't like a new thing that I'm just trying to be extra with. I've always segregated my blacks and my whites. It's, it's not personal, <laughs> it's not personal at all. I just always reach for black shirts and white shirts more than I reach for anything. It's just kind of like a habit. So I always have them grouped next to each other so I can see them. Hey ladies, can I give you a quick call back? No, see them when we get off the phone. I'm almost done though. There's not much to it. You know my closet isn't that big. <laughs> we already wore it. I have to get off the whole store. I just need some tidbits. Mommy, I want your 30 seconds. No. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Is that really two minutes? No, it's really 30 seconds. Girl, you know my closet isn't big. Okay, put, 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 put the Get out of here! Nobody wants me to be great right now. Okay, back to what I was saying. So these are all my black shirts. These are all my white shirts. I wear these the most, so I put those right at the beginning of the closet. Down here, mix the colors. This row right here is all my jeans or dressy pants. And I only have like two skirts and they're right here. Then I didn't really have anything to put up here. So I just put like swimsuit cover ups up here. These aren't all of them. Like I said, I just went on vacation and I just bought some laundry detergent. So this won't look as scantily once I finish my laundry. But down here, um, I don't know what this is doing down here. Cause this is supposed to be like my more like dressier tops, blouses and stuff that I'm probably never going to wear again. Like I wore this on my birthday, never wore it again. I wore this to a... 80s party I think never wore again like this is all my it costs too much to want to throw it away because even though this is like I'm never ever gonna wear this again well maybe to another costume party this was like a $80 at the costume store she's not getting put away just yet we're gonna wear her at least one more time so that's what this section is down here blouses dresses stuff that I'm never gonna go wear again but not ready to part with okay then this right here are my purses but you thought I had more than this well I don't I only buy purses or shoes that are designer when it's a holiday is it my birthday then I don't need it is it Christmas girl bye is it a major life important event no okay then we don't need it. So I buy purses and shoes once in a blue moon. I don't buy designer clothes. I'm not there yet to where I feel comfortable buying something expensive that's gonna sit in my I'm not wearing again section. Like I just don't, I just don't do that yet. Not saying I never will. But for right now, we're stingy with our money. We hold it tight. So yeah, this shelf wasn't even gonna be here, but I, like I said, I didn't have enough room to do another hanging shelf. This size purse collection is perfect for it, you know? Then over here, we have our long hangs, which are like, again, stuff that I'm probably never gonna wear again back there. And when I say stuff I'm never gonna wear again, it's not just because I took a picture on it. Like, I do believe in washing, dry cleaning, and wearing it again. But some of this stuff that I'm never gonna wear again was kind of uncomfortable, like two tight had to take my boobies too high um couldn't breathe couldn't walk right but it was expensive like at least for me that's kind of some of the stuff i'm talking about when i say stuff i'm never gonna wear again it's not just because i took a picture in it it's because it was uncomfortable but i don't want to throw it away yet you know what i mean not throw it away but give it away that's what's back there and then these are like all my robes then over here we have jackets and sweaters or hoodies these are all like pullover hoodies and these are jackets or sweaters where you zip so and finally I have shoes over here at least the ones that would fit I didn't want to put any all the way up there but the only shoes that are like missing are like sandals and my Jordans I rarely ever wear tennis shoes if and when I do they're usually these two pair which is why they're the dirtiest my Balenciagas or my Nikes because they're the most comfortable and can I say I used to hate these shoes I thought they were the ugliest things ever but these are so comfortable and I keep trying to find or buy another pair because I really want them in every color. For me, that would be worth the money because I wear them like every day, but they never ever have my size and stock of the color that I want, but I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna get you. Most uncomfortable, if you have a wider foot, don't buy these shits. Once again, they're here because they were a little expensive. 
so we use them for show right now even though I might give these away but I've tried to give these several chances. Some people said let the leather stretch out. How much more stretching do I need to do? And I tried to size up, but they kept flipping off. I don't appreciate that. Saint Laurent, because these are some comfortable shoes. I don't care what nobody tell you. I'll wear those every day of the week, as well as these, which you guys all know are my favorites as well. And these need to be chucked off a cliff as well, but these were the first pair of designer shoes I ever bought. They're Giuseppe's, and I bought these for like my 23rd birthday, I wanna say. And uh, I remember I thought they were so cute. Mind you, I wore these with a gray skirt and a wife beater, but that's that's a whole different story. So yeah, right now I could space everything out because I don't have a shitload of shoes. Because mind you, I don't even wear any of those on those first two rows or that top row or really any down there except the Uggs. So, or those either, those hurt too. So <laughs> as soon as I buy some more shoes, a lot of these are gonna be making their exit as well. And then up here, I didn't have anything to fill in up here. So I just put all the boxes that I kept up here. Then lastly, we have the drawers and shelving right here. This is all for play play. Those don't belong there. These two shelves will probably stay, but these frames actually go downstairs. Like I said, I didn't have anything to put there. And then these are my drawers, which are jam packed. I really wish I would have did another big drawer. I need like two more of these, but I thought it was gonna be too high. But I'm probably gonna see if they can add them for me because these drawers are stuffed. And I even got rid of a lot of stuff. The only drawer I can really show you is this one because it's not stuffed with clothes. And it just has my belts. And this is actually a silverware tray. I couldn't find a jewelry tray, so this actually works out perfectly because I don't have hella jewelry. I only wear hoops and every once in a while rings, but rings make my fingers break out, even my real ones. So I just have some necklaces, my hoops, and then my silver stuff is down here. We got some of my perfumes up here. One of them is this one. I'm gonna use it to every last drop. See that little corner? There's still a little bit in there. I need to buy another one. This is uh, Monger Lane. Still one of my favorites. My shimmers up here. Anytime you're showing a little shoulder, you wanna have your shimmers at reach. So these are my some of my shimmers. And yeah, everything else doesn't matter because they're not staying. But these are cute pictures. These are actually going um, on my wall downstairs. Whoever watched my um, home shopping, it was like three videos ago where I was shopping for stuff for my house and I have a wall like over this glass little credenza thing and I was saying, I don't know what to put on it. The thing that I had bought from um, Home Goods, I thought it was too small. And someone in the comments said to make it a picture, like a photo wall, a gallery wall. Best idea ever. So I got like these frames and some bigger ones that I have to hang downstairs. I just don't know how to hang them because they don't have hooks. So I have to get some command tape. I don't know. Actually, if you guys have any ideas on how to hang frames on a wall so that they won't fall, bars, um, let me know. Cause you know I don't know. I kept my laundry hamper the same. Like I said, I didn't want to waste any space with getting one built in. But um, yeah, as you can see, this is a dramatic difference from how this closet started. Georgia, unfortunately, is like so old school when it comes to how they build houses. If you want anything custom, you're gonna have to build it yourself, period. Or get a house that somebody already customized. Because even though this was a new build, their standards versus like California and how they build houses is like two different centuries. That's one thing that I really do miss about California houses. The South is like the South, slow as fuck. So the first year I moved in here, I went a little overboard. <laughs> A, l a lot of overboard, a, a lot of overboard. Like in the six figures, the high ones. <laughs> I was really thirsty and um, I wanted everything done. And then when I saw the tabulations, I was like, okay, <laughs> not doing that again. We're gonna just pick one or two things to do a year and uh, do it that way. Cause being a homeowner, I don't know who convinced me to do this shit, but it's expensive and I don't appreciate it. And I do kind of miss my apartment life. I am, call me crazy. But you know, it came with a lot less responsibility. I had a cute maintenance man whenever I needed some plumbing. Um, <laughs> didn't have to set an alarm, had security down. Like I miss those little things. I haven't really settled into it just yet. I don't know how long that's gonna take. And I know I'm not alone in that feeling, but maybe because everything is not done, I just still kind of feel like I'm still adjusting even though it's been two years, so. For my first home, I feel like I'm doing okay. But other than that, let me know what you wanna see next. Till next time.